What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. I'm going to show you a smoothie that I make for myself that has helped me jump higher as well as the clients that I've trained. The secret ingredient is actually consistency with your diet as well as with your training. The smoothie I'm about to show you will help you jump higher because it helps you build your strength, add lean muscle mass, and will help you keep your body fat low. If you've seen my other jump training videos, you'll learn that strength is a very important factor to helping you jump higher. But if you're strong and slow, then you will not be jumping very high because your rate of force development will be very slow. So it's important to be strong and fast. One way to accomplish that is to stay lean and strong while maintaining most of your muscle mass. And this smoothie will help you do that. Now I'm going to show you what goes inside the smoothie. Here we have the ingredients all lined up. Six ingredients total. Even though you see five, the sixth ingredient is water. Protein is very, very important to help you build muscle. And I like to buy an unflavored protein. I've tried vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, all the different variations, and they all taste too fake for me. So I like to buy an unflavored one. And it does have a slight milk flavor, but it's okay because it doesn't take away from the other natural flavors that we'll go to in just a second. The next one is juice. You can use any fruit juice. You don't want to get anything too acidic because it ruins the taste and the overall texture of the smoothie in my experience. So I just get a generic juice like V8 Splash. And I like the mango peach because we will eventually add mangoes to it so that kind of adds to the flavor. Then we have your cut up kale. This is a great source of fiber, vitamin A and vitamin C. Low in calories. Then we have frozen pineapple chunks. And then frozen mango chunks. I get my mango chunks from Costco. I feel it's the best price for the taste. And the pineapples, I usually get it at Lucky or Safeway. Oh, this, this is not supposed to be here. I like to use a Nutribullet blender and it's very convenient. You put all the ingredients in the cup and then you can place it on top, blend it together and it comes with a cap where whatever you make, you can immediately take it to go or drink it straight from the cup. So Nutribullet, if you're out there and you want to send me a free one because I just gave you a free advertisement, feel free to do so. Now to make the smoothie. This cup is about four cups. It doesn't really matter what size you use. I'm going to show you generally how to eyeball the proportions regardless of what cup you use. The first ingredient is kale. I fill the cup to the top with kale. And it's easiest if you buy already cut kale. Once I fill it to the top, I'm going to fill it about an eighth worth of water. And it helps it blend together nicely. If you blend it now, it's not going to mix very well together. It's going to take a long time. So you need some type of liquid to make sure that everything stays together and blends evenly. So just about an eighth level for the water. You need to blend this first together. If you put everything inside, then it's going to stay too leafy. I like to blend this with water first because it creates a, like a puree of the kale. And it just makes the smoothie a lot smoother. There's your kale and water mix. The next step is to add the fruit. I'm going to fill the mango to where it's about a third to a halfway mark. I need to make space for the pineapple. Let 
about a little bit below the halfway mark. Now it's time for the pineapple. You're gonna fill this up just above the halfway mark. So a little bit higher than the halfway mark. And you could change the ratio. If you like pineapple more than mango, you could put more pineapple. I'm, I like mango more. So I actually put a little bit more mango than the pineapple. So once you have the fruit together, I put the mango peach V8 splash juice. And remember that your smoothie is going to be already pretty sweet from the fruit, so you don't want to add too much juice. This just gives it a little bit of more tang to it and a little bit more sweetness, but not too much because there's already a lot of water in there. So you see how I filled it about three quarters to four fifths of the weight. And you don't want to fill it to the top because you have to leave it, give it some space to blend. The reason why I don't put the protein powder in when I'm mixing the fruit, if you do do that, it's going to become too foamy and the fruit is not going to blend very evenly. So I've learned that you got to blend the kale first, then you blend the fruit and the juice, and then you add in the protein and you blend that in together. And that creates a very nice smooth texture. That's what it looks like after it's all blended. The very last step is to add the unflavored whey protein. If you like vanilla, I mean, I'm sure this will taste fine with vanilla. I just don't like that overly artificial flavoring of the protein powder. I try to add about two scoops, which is the equivalent of 35 to 40 grams of protein. If you don't eat enough protein, your muscles won't grow and they won't recover as quickly as they can. So it's very important to eat as much protein as you can throughout the day. So then I Close the cap. And now it's fully mixed. That's what it looks like after it's mixed. Like I showed you before, you can take it to go with one of these caps. Just screw it on and drink it throughout the day. I like to do that if I'm in a rush to go to work or I don't have time to come home. Or you can just pour it and drink it. You see how easily that came out. Now the best part about making a smoothie is tasting it. Mm-mm, good. The reason why I'm sharing this smoothie recipe with you is because when I first started drinking smoothies and experimenting with different types, I was so frustrated because they always tasted so awful. They were either too sweet, too chalky, too high in calories, or just plain difficult to drink. And I always thought to myself, there has to be a better way or a better smoothie out there that can be high in protein, tastes good, is healthy for you, and easy to make. And that's when I started experimenting with a lot of smoothie recipes. So please try this smoothie recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.